two hours and ten minutes. Today we're going to be flying the TBM 850 from Miami, Florida up to Elizabethton, Tennessee. Here we go. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrix holes and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Welcome aboard the TBM 850 here at Opelaka. We'll start this thing up. The old loose pump on, clear outside. Starter switch is flipped and the starter light is blinking. Ignition light is illuminated. Clear outside. Watching the NG to rise up. Stabilizing rate at 14% about. And then now we will introduce fuel to low idle. Watching for the light off. ITT for a hot start is what we're looking for. If things went wrong and a hunk start on the NG, if the NG didn't continue to rise up. Looks like the ITT is going to temp out at 7.24 today. Plus 31 degrees on the ramp here, it is warm outside. Look forward to getting that AC turned on. We'll go over to get the ATIS here at Opelaka. Opelaka Tower information, Juliet. Time 1247 Zulu. Wind 100 at Niner. Weather is better than 5005. Temperature 29, dew point 24, altimeter 3006. ILS runway 9 left in use. Landing and departing runway 9 left. Runway 12 and runway 9 right. Clarence delivery is combined with ground control on 120.025. Advise on initial contact, you have Juliet. All right, we have information, Juliet. We'll go over to ground and pick up the IFR clearance. Opelaka ground, good at morning. Not our 851 Tango Bravo over at Signature with Juliet. Looking to pick up our IFR. EBM 851 Tango Bravo, clear to zero Alpha 9 Airport via Doral 1 departure. Matlock transition, then it's filed. Maintain 2000, expect flight level 260, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency. 128.6, squawk 6067. Clear to Elizabethton, uh, Doral 1 departure, Matlock transition as followed, maintain 2000, 260, 10 minutes after, 28.6 on departure frequency, squawking 6067, over 851 Tango Bravo. Over 851 Tango Bravo, read back, it's correct. 851 Tango Bravo, read taxi at signature with Juliet. Over 851 Tango Bravo, uh, runway 9 or left, taxi via November 6, November. November 6, November to 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, here we go. Clear out the front, and we're going to go November 6, November to 9 left. Look out the wings out there, we'll put the flap selected to take off position. And also indicate, check our flight controls, reading correct. So yeah, I'm excited to have you guys on board today. We're going to go up into the mountains of Tennessee, Elizabethton. If you look down here at the iPad, this is going to be our routing today. We've got our clearance. And it's going to be 2 hours and 10 minutes to get up there. We're going to go up to flight level 260. Going the lawn out there in front of us. If you guys like these videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring that little bell. That'll notify you when I upload a video. Oh, it feels a lot better now that I got that AC kicking. There's a warm one in here sitting on the ramp. Plus 31 degrees Celsius outside. Look down here at the iPad. This is the iPad Mini 6. You can see I got the... Uh, Airport diagram and taxi diagram all pulled up. 
And we're taxiing right there on November. Down to nine left. I have no idea why, but I got a lot of static on just this frequency alone on the ground here. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't, but today we got that static. But yeah, I'm using the iPad Mini 6, and it's a great iPad. This is the perfect size, I believe, for most airplanes to uh, mount in your airplane to use. I use the uh, Pivot mounting system along with the Pivot case. Save 15% on these uh, Pivot products. Be sure to click in the description below. Then we'll go over to Tower. We'll pull out the Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, holding short of 9 left. Sorry, if I want to take a Bravo block tower, flight hitting zero nine or zero, runway nine left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff nine left, we'll fly zero nine zero on the heading, no if I want to take a Bravo. Alright, clear for takeoff, final looks clear. The runway down the runway's clear. Alright, you guys ready to go up to the Smoky Mountains? I know I am. Fly three left turn west now. Better fly three west on turn proof. Yeah, now line up here on the center line. There we go. Now we're going to ease the power up. Up RPM is right about 2,000, and we advance the torque for takeoff 100%. Oil pressure temperatures look good. Now we're pretty heavy today because we got full fuel. It's going to take a little bit longer to get to our rotation speed than normal. And there it is. Pull back on the yoke. Up into the sky we go. Tap the brakes. And we're going to go gear selected up. And indicating. Beautiful view out there. The front, you can see all the different condos on the beach. And we're going to go flaps up, selected, and yellow damper on. Beautiful day. At the Hard Rock Stadium over there off our left wing. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure 128.6, good day. 28.6851 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Marlin 72, you clear visual approach runway 9 left, contact 1000 to go. 4.67, have a good morning. All right, clear visual 9 left, 13467, see ya. Miami, good morning, Navarre 851 Tango Bravo, 1400, climbing 2000. Number 951 Tango Bravo, Miami departure, good morning, radar contact, climb 18, 7000. 7000, 851 Tango Bravo. 7000 set up in our LT2 pre-selector. So I'm still hand flying it. Uh, we'll put the autopilot on now, so we're in heading mode, IES mode, autopilot on. We can put the armrest down, get a little comfortable. Going through the cloud here. Nice to get the sun out of our eyes. We're going to 850 mode, so we're going to pull the power just under 100 percent. Mike Lima, turn on thing 210. Up lever goes up and over the gate. Now we can advance the torque past 100 percent. November 1, Tango Bravo, turn on thing at 330, contact departure 11945. 330, 1945, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Number 0, Mike Lima, turn on thing 180. Alright, we got our heading bug set to 330, go over to 1945 on the frequency. I mean, good morning, Navarre, 851 Tango Bravo, 4,000, climbing 7,000. Number 851 Tango Bravo, roger, climb, maintain, 16,000. Maintain 16,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 16,000 set up, we're still in IS mode. Beautiful view down there off the left wing, it's rush hour right now in South Florida, so I am so glad to be up here in the sky rather than down there with all those people driving crazy on the highways, because South Florida is not very fun to drive around, they're so aggressive, the drivers down here. And we can take the uh, inertial separator off, so this switch down by my left knee, got the light on. We're going to flip that switch, now we're going to get more air into the uh, engine. And we'll get a torque rise and an ITT drop by flipping that switch. It takes about 30 seconds for the two flaps in the intake to stop their uh, rotation to a new angle. And when you do flip that switch, you got to make sure with this... 290 on the heading, one tango bravo. 90 set up their heading bug. And when you do flip that inertial separator switch with these, with these older TBMs, you have to make sure you don't over torque the engine if you're riding the torque up high, because you'll get that torque climb. There's Opelaka off our left wing there, where we just took off from. And uh, I guess you can't really see Miami down there with too many clouds. With Tango Bravo, fly heading of 320. 
three two zero one tango bravo. Now we're climbing a little faster than what I want to in, in airspeed. So we're at almost one fifty. I'm going to push this button with this control wheel steering button with my uh, left thumb. That's going to disconnect the autopilot. Now I'm going to manually pitch up to bleed off some airspeed. Go back to 140. There it is right there. Now I'm going to release the button. Now the autopilot re-engages and we'll hold in the IS mode. Indicate airspeed mode at about 140, wherever we release that button at. Nice smooth air. This is nice. Once we get up to the cruise altitude today, we'll throw on some XM radio. I love getting up here and putting on the radio and monitoring the systems of the airplane. Right, one single battle, turn right, direct to Doral. Right, direct Doral, A5-1 Tango Bravo. There we go, direct, enter, enter, and we're going to nav mode. And we'll be turning over there to the right to Doral. 10,000 feet. We'll adjust our pressurization down here. Our cruise altitude will be level 260. And as we keep climbing, we keep advancing the torque until we become ITT limited. Number 851 Tango Bravo Center is 13517. 13517, 851 Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Good day. Miami, good morning. Number 851 Tango Bravo, 13,000, climbing 16,000, direct to rail. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, good morning. Uh, you do have uh, some areas of moderate precipitation. Uh, luggage like flight uh, about uh, 12 o'clock, cruiser miles, small area there about 2 miles in diameter, and have additional area about uh, 12 to 1 o'clock, cruiser miles, 5 miles in diameter. And climb maintain, fall level 230, and one tango bravo. Roger, climb maintain 230, 85 one tango bravo. We do have a little bit of precip, we'll be above it all, so that should be no factor. If you look down here at the iPad, there's our glide advisor and our route. And we're now clear direct to rail. So we click, we are at 17, direct to, there's our fresh line. And, uh, we're just north of Walker's K. We do have some rain out over the Gulf of Mexico over there. Okay, yeah, and some over the Atlantic Ocean to the right, but on our road, uh, looks pretty good today. And right there into the Smoky Mountains, uh, right there is where we're going to go. Oh, it feels so much better in here. How about you guys? Not so hot, right? So now it's uh, plus 2 degrees Celsius outside the airplane at 16,000 feet. We'll see how cold it gets when we get up to our cruise altitude. So on the ground it was plus 31 degrees Celsius. Now we get up to flight level 260, we'll see what the temperature is outside. Let's see if you guys can guess it. Leave a comment in the description below if you can guess before we get there what the temperature will be at 260. So as we're coming up to 18,000 feet, flight level 180, we're going to transition to 2992 on the altimeter. So we currently have 3006 in the altimeter, so we're going to push the standard button here. There we go, 2992. That's what everybody's going to have in their altimeters when we get up into the flight levels here. And that'll keep everybody in position where we will hopefully not collide into each other. 2507, one tango bravo, have a good day. I mean, good morning, Navarre. 851 Tango Bravo 186, climbing 230. Alright, one Tango Bravo 186, climbing 12250. Climb file 250, one Tango Bravo. Just took a little glimpse down there at the outside air temperature. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. And we can actually take the shoulder harnesses off now. It's nice, smooth air. Very comfortable. On our two hour and ten minute flight today. Thanks to the magic of editing, you guys won't have to sit here the entire time. Yes, this is my job. This is the I've been doing this job for, flying for a private company around I mean I don't know probably around nine years now I believe. Flying airplanes as a career is a, a lot of fun. It's a very rewarding career. Yeah, even though I took my uh, shoulder harnesses off, I always still keep the lap belt on. You never know when you might hit some unexpected turbulence. This is unusual, actually. Quiet day in the radio. We got out of Opelaka real quick and easy, and the radio's pretty quiet. This is pretty unusual. 1,000 to go. If you look down here, there's still there's a lot of airplanes flying around. Look at all those little triangles. Those are all airplanes flying all over the place. So we were filed for level 260 on this flight. They leveled us out right at 250. As we're leveling out, I'm going to push to the left here, get the rudder trim to keep us in coordinated flight. There's a little indicator down here that shows you where the trim is at. 
And uh, when you level out, I know pretty much just by looking at the indicator where it should be at. Right Tango Bravo, 25 or 27 for your final. We'll take a 270851 Tango Bravo. Number 81 Tango Bravo, maintain flow 270. Maintain flow 270851 Tango Bravo. All right, so today they want us on a odd altitude, this direction. Coming out of Florida, going up into the United States, it's a lot, it's different with the rules compared to uh, just going east or west. You know, normally if you're going east, you'd have an odd altitude for your cruise, and west you'd have an even. But uh, coming in and out of Florida, they have it with a different way, how they have it set up. And I adjusted my pressurization since we got went up a thousand feet higher than what we were expected. So we're going to IES mode. That was 1,000 to go. I tell you, this is the quietest I've heard air traffic control in years. And we're coming up 200 feet to flight level 270, 27,000 feet. There we are, leveling out at flight level 270. Now the airplane is going to plane over and we're going to build up some airspeed. And once we build up our airspeed, uh, as much as we'll get here at this altitude, we'll set our cruise power. So you see the airspeed's getting a little bit higher as we have uh, leveled out. Right here we are we're over Jarrell. Now we're turning on course to the next fix. All right, so since we're here at our cruise altitude, it was plus 31 degrees on the ground, as we said. What do you guys think the outside air temperature is right now here at 27,000 feet? All right, well, if you guessed, let's see how close you were. We are currently negative 17 degrees Celsius. We can not 28 one calling time for tree seven zero. Actually, that's pretty warm. Normally, I'll see it in the 20s, like negative 20s at this altitude. So today it's actually warmer up here at 27,000 feet. But yeah, it's negative 17 degrees Celsius. All right, so now that we're at a cruise altitude, we basically got as much speed out of this airplane as we're probably going to get, make it a little bit more. We're doing about 185 knots indicated, doing 293 across the ground. And let's see what our true airspeed is. And we're truing out at 289. So we'll set our cruise power. Well, we're basically going to be doing uh, is the final I like to just pull the prop RPM back a little bit. We'll go to 1900. And it's just going to yeah, lower the uh, ambient sound here in the cabin. I'm just a little bit lower, and it's a little bit more relaxing. There we go. All right, so now that we're here at cruise altitude, got the power set. Nice smooth ride. We're going to put on some XM radio and I'll catch you guys a little bit closer into the mountains of Elizabethton, Tennessee. How, how he rides Oh, the passenger He rides and he rides He looks through his window What does he see? All right, we're back with you. We're at quite a little 240. We're giving a descent down to that. Tango Bravo, Atlanta 132.62. 3262, one Tango Bravo. Good day. Atlanta, good morning. Our 851 Tango Bravo 240. Over my 851 Tango Bravo, Atlanta, center, good morning. We'll go and see if we can uh, get the uh, weather there at Elizabeth 10. Altimeter three. 
Alright, right, we got the weather there at Elizabethan. Looks like we're going to be doing the RNAV GPS into runway 6. I got the approach plate all pulled up here and briefed. So we're going to pretty much go down to minimums on this approach. We can go down to 3,080 feet. The airport elevation here is at 1,593 feet. And we can only go down 620 feet from Zervi to on the uh, final approach course due to the uh, mountainous terrain around the airport. So we're going to intercept the glide path at 3,700. We go down to 3,080. So we can only go down 620 feet on that approach path. If we got to go miss, it'll be a right turn, climbing turn to 5300, the cabia, and we'll hold. It'll be a teardrop entry into that holding pattern. We do have a few little storms around the area, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. I have the onboard weather radar all fired up here. There we go, to paint uh, with that dome on the left wing that's scanning out in front of us. So i got it set to a quarter mile ring right now for the range. And we'll go and start monitoring the, the uh, Unicom there on the COM2. There you go, 1,000 set up. Yes, set down. We'll also adjust our pressurization. So we are painting a little bit of a storms right up here at 12 o'clock, a little bit to the left. That matches up with that one buildup that you can see out the front there. Roger, thanks, Montana Bravo. And we do have the Smoky Mountains, which we're going to be going over right now. Some of the peaks go up to 5200, 5500, all right south of Elizabethan here. So we'll be going over that and then drop it down in for the approach. Atlanta 851 Tango Bravo, we'd like to put on the request for the RNF GPS runway 6. Okay, and what six would you like to go to? Uh, we'd like to go to Tom, uh, Tomjo. Spell that, please. Tango, Oscar, Mike, Juliet, Oscar. Tomjo, gotcha. Please wait, Tomjo, to make that left turn towards Tomjo. You do have moderate heavy precipitation. That's about 10 miles in diameter that way. Yeah, that matches up with what we're showing, too. Uh, any chance we could hold off on that turn until we get past that precip? I do advise when you direct Tomjo, you get to the right of course, so when they will direct Tomjo. Roger, right deviation approved, when able, direct Tom Joe, and we'll advise, 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, so this is working out. That's Devo. Hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> Thanks for following along. So that precip that you see out here at 11 o'clock, that matches up with what we're showing. As soon as we get past that, we'll go direct Tom Joe, and we'll advise that we're direct Tom Joe to ATC. We're not going to get very good views of the mountains here today, due to all the clouds. Give us a fresh line to Tom Joe. And see, right now the line is still putting us right through that storm, so we have to continue just a little bit farther until we clear that precip. And we can narrow in our range for our radar. There you go. Went to a 10 mile. You can see right here there's the precip. Right to 2072 for Beep 6032. Great day, we'll see you. Number 851 Tango Bravo, we got to below 12,000 in three minutes or less for traffic, please. Three minutes or less will be below one two thousand eight five one ten bravo. Love your video. <laughs> Get some crazy shout outs today. Well, I do appreciate everybody that follows along. Pull the power back here as we're gonna be going down into these clouds and the faster you go the more violent these bumps can Blue Atlanta, be. Conquest, seven eight four pop a flash shot eight point three climb to ten. There we go, we're V S and a down. I'm asking uh we gotta get blue. One two thousand in three minutes. Riding the elevator down. There's a view of that storm off our left wing. We'll be able to go time Joe here pretty quick. Uh, if you look out front, you'll see another build up right out there at twelve o'clock. We wouldn't want to go into that either because that looks like it's going to be pretty bumpy. But we're going to look at that in regards to where our heading is right now. So I know we're going to go a little bit more to the left. So we're about to go IMC, and then we won't have to worry about that buildup right there. But you want to make sure you get that bearing down before you actually go in IMC conditions. 
There we go. So now we'll be all right on this heading. Because once you get in an IMC conditions, you won't be able to see that big build up anymore. Niner Kilo Tango, moderate station. The 12 o'clock scattered about 15 miles along along your route of flight. Roger, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seven eight five one Tango Bravo, thank you for the descent. Contact Cross City Approach one three four point four two. Let them know when you're there, right, Tom Joe. Thirty four forty two, and no problem. We'll advise one Tango Bravo. And we go direct Tom Joe at this time. Tri City Approach, good afternoon. Or A51 Tango Bravo, 12000 assigned to 11000, turn left, direct Tom Joe. 7 A51 Tango Bravo, Tri City's Approach, Tri City's altimeter 3014. 14. Tri City, 851 Tango Bravo, we just looked upon the request for that RNAV GPS runway 6. Number 1 Tango Bravo, you can expect that. Just send to maintain 7000, verify you have the weather. We got the weather down to 7000, 851 Tango Bravo. Three Papa Charlie report cancellation of IFR. Here we go. 7,000 set. VS that down. Via 125.25, change to advisory frequency approved. Look down, down here at the right. iPad. You're going to see there we are blinking on the approach plate. Direct to Tokyo. Tri Cities, Medivac Highlands 3 is ready for the letdown. And the reason why we're not going any lower than 7 right now is we have this little mountain range, as you can see, and there's a peak right there at 5,200 feet. We're monitoring Unicom on COM2. We'll hear if there's any traffic in or out of Elizabeth 10. KVM 1 Tango Bravo across Tom Joe at or above 7,000, cleared on at runway 6 approach Elizabeth Airport. Across Tom Joe at or above 7,000 and clear for the RNAV runway 6 approach for 8512 Bravo. Alright, cleared for the approach. Clear for the approach. We'll arm the approach. All right, I hope you guys got your seatbelts on. It might get a little bumpy coming in here today. All right, here we are over Tom Joe. Next fix will be Cavia. All right, we'll put the armrest up. We're getting ready to go to work here. Then we'll be coming up on Cavia, where we'll turn inbound. Mm -hmm. Once we get over Cavia, we'll be able to go down to 4,600 feet. Hold on here, because it's getting a little bumpy. Be out the front window. We do have some vertical development in these clouds. Here comes Cavia. We go down to 4,600. Man, it is bumpy. There we go, we're starting our turn. Four, Looking five, good. Five, so we got some views out there of the mountains out there now a little bit. There we go. I think we're through the worst of those bumps. And how are the winds favoring there at Elizabethan? They're they're calling it variable five gusting eleven. Okay, do you do, which runway did you guys take? We just landed six. Um, we're probably going to take off on 2-4 like you are. Okay, I've got a TBM. We're currently about eight miles to the west inbound on the RNAV for runway six. Uh, Elizabeth 10. Okay. Okay, we, well, he was a Hawker, I believe. He took six. We'll do the same. All right, now we can go down to 3,700 feet at this next fix. And I already have the runway and the uh, airport out there in sight. That's good news. Actually, the one thing a Bravo report cancellation of IFR in the air on this frequency or on the ground via 125.25. Might as well cancel now with you, 851 Tango Give you one thing of Bravo IFR cancellation received. Squawk VFR, have a nice day. Squawk VFR and going over to Unicom. Thanks. Have a good day. One thing of Bravo. Baron Niner. All right. Well, got rid of him. Yeah, the autopilot took a disconnect on us there with the bumps. So we're ha we'll hand fly it the rest of the way in. So we go down to 3,700 feet. And we do have the uh, glide path is in. So we'll go first notch of flap selected. And we're just... A about one dot above on the glide path, you're selected down. Wow, look at the view out there. Beautiful. And gear is down, three green. That is a very good thing, as you guys have been following along and knew that I had a landing gear failure a little while.
while ago. But we're looking good. We're just a little bit high on the glide path, and we're a little bit to the right of the final approach course, but we'll correct for that. This is a 10 TBM on a three mile final, only six, a little bit 10. And there was our decision height. If we were on the approach and in the clouds, right there is as low as we could have gone. Because if we had to go mist and you go any lower, you'd be down in the mountains and you wouldn't be able to clear them to do the mist yeah, approach. Yeah. Looking good. Look at how beautiful it is out there. Man, I love the mountains. I know the people out west say these active, right? aren't real mountains, but to me, these are mountains. Living in South Florida, it's beautiful up here. But I think we're going to have a little bit of a tailwind, actually, on this landing. We're right on the final approach course, and we're right on the glide path. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. Beautiful out up here. Looks like the FBO is actually pretty busy too. If you look right, right, there's all the jets right there. So. Go back to flight angle. Flare. We lost our lift there with that tailwind. But look at there, center line. Back into reverse. Nice smooth landing, even though we had a tailwind. And we'll use some aerodynamic braking here also. And we'll get off at this taxiway. Well, welcome to Elizabethton, Tennessee. Look at down that runway, how beautiful that is. Cross the whole short line here and clean up the plane. Taxi to back to the FBO. With 10 TBM, we're clear of uh, runway 6. With 10. Hope you guys did enjoy that flight. Two hours and 10 minutes. And we are up in the beautiful mountains. Turn out of our weather radar. Yeah, it got a little bumpy there on the uh, approach there. So you guys had your seatbelts on and everything worked out well. Look out the front there, you'll see that we are on the taxiway. We'll be coming down a little bit farther here and we'll cross the runway into the ramp. If you look down here at the taxi diagram, you can see there we are. We'll be going left on that next uh, intersection. One thing I really like about this airport is you're going to see a barn over here right by the uh, ramp. I was told that they might be tearing that down someday soon. I hope not. That's a, just a really cool feature of this airport. So we're going to turn here and then we're going to look left and right, make sure nobody's taken off or landing here. And we'll make an announcement. Elizabeth in TVM, we're going to be crossing the runway into the uh, BL ramp. Elizabeth in. Clear to the right and clear to the left. Don't want to wreck a nice flight with a runway incursion on someone landing. But look at this. This is how cool is that old barn here? Ever since I've been coming here, that barn's always been there. Hopefully, they never tear that thing down. Gives this place some character. There's a marshal right out here in front of us. Looks like we'd be parking right at the end of the line. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well wherever you're watching from. And I hope to see you guys someday soon. Take care, everybody.
visions where the spirits go. 